everybody, welcome back. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers and hello again to all of you who have been with me for a while. Today I've got a design team project to share for you. Um, this is for Artie Mays and I'll show you the kit in just a moment um, that I use to create these little tags um, to go on our journals. Um, they could also be glued down and made into a pocket. And then I'm also, uh, within the tutorial today, we're going to do a variation on how this can be a pocket and we'll have a journal that will come, uh, a tag that will come out, out of this because as it is, you know, this is the tag itself. So we're just going to do a variation on it today when we create it together and let's just get started. I'm going to zoom out and get this out of the way and I'll show you the kits that I'm using. This is Artie Mays um, for tickets and ottomans collection. She's got a one and two, and I have both of these printed out. This is uh, the kit one, and then this is kit two. I love this kind of kit because it's so uh, versatile. You can use it with several different product um, projects that you're working on. So let's just jump in and make some tags today. Get my space down here. I was going to try to give you guys a list of what you would need, but I'm, in the end I just um, thought there's there's quite a lot. Um, if you've got a pretty good um, stocked craft room, you'll be, all fi be fine. There's nothing too specific that you're going to need, but the base of the um, tags are craft cardstock and this was a bit of a boo-boo for me. This is a little bit heavier weight but I've managed to um, order another uh, package of it so I've got to get through it. So this is a little bit heavier weight than these are so you might want to keep that in mind uh, when you're purchasing uh, to get some that's that's not as heavy but it'll still work. So <clears throat> what you're first going to need to do is cut these out and I went for about four by six. That seems to make a really nice size <coughs> when you cut that down. Now the easiest way to do this for me is I always bend mine in half and you just take it um, from the outside in. Let me just do it very quickly here. That's why I said this is pretty heavy cardboard. It's it's not as easy as the lighter weight. Just take it from the inside out and snip that off and then that way you're, you're going to have the house shape. Um, now because you're using two of these, one for the front and one for the back, you're going to want to kind of line that up so that you uh, get that pretty you know, you get the slant on it the same. You can always come back and trim it. Um, now, I have stitched mine, but again, if you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry about this. Um, you can um, you can just glue it. Okay, so I'm going to make two of these. As I said, I'm going to do one the way I've done here, but the other one, which is this one, we're going to tweak that slightly so that we can have the journal card slide in and out of that. I think that's going to be really, um, really cute. Yeah, I can see that one's not. I'm going to have to trim some of that off a little bit. I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> thinking about it, that would have been the easiest way on the second piece really, is just lay it down and trim. Okay, so we've got that. Now, for this one, this is the one I'm going to turn <clears throat> into a little journal card. I know I'm probably going to lose a quarter of an inch so uh, when I sew that. So I'm going to make the journal card about three and three quarter by four. Let me just cut that real quick. Okay. 
yeah, I think that's gonna that'll fit in there nicely. So there's a couple of things we'll have to do slightly different on this one, but let's just go ahead and set that to the side and get on with the um, the first one. Okay, so the the next thing you're gonna want to do is cut that um, center out. I'm in frame here guys and sorry this is going to be a little bit loud um, you can take a rounded off rectangle or square I mean to be honest you could do a circle would look really cool um, this is what I use so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that you're only going to cut this on one unless you want to see all the way through I didn't on this but I can totally see um, I'm going to be playing with this, in which case you could do this on both and have like a, um, you know, a see-through window would be really cute. And you could maybe put some dried flowers in there or a butterfly image. The list goes on and on, but for this um, project, because of the tags being and save that because you can make a nice little card out of that as well. Um, because this is using the vintage, I'm kind of keeping it um, in the, you know, monochromatic colors. And then this one, I did add a little bit of color to it, but it's all very, um, you know, vintage style. But you could definitely go with um, bright colors. It, it could be tweaked so many ways, which is why I love it. I just I love how these came out. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is, if you can see on this, I should have showed you guys this at the beginning. There's a lot going on here. I've done some stamping and some gesso, and then we take some papers. None of it takes long. It's just knowing, you know, the steps to follow. So... I uh, was using some black ink, but I switched over to the espresso. I just think it's a little bit softer, and uh, I, can, I just personally like it. So ink that, um, just any kind of texture background. This is what i chosen. You could take some script, um, and then just take some of that off, because you don't want, it's just to add a little bit more... Um, texture going on in the background and actually thinking about it guys let me just go ahead very quickly and cut this for the next one as well because I may as well while I've got my inks out I'm going to do the background on both of them So same thing, this is for the card that we're going to make, the journal card to go within. Um, I've just changed having it upside down just for something a little bit different. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one. And um, and let's just go ahead and, while we're here, I'll grab a... Um, this is a Prima. I do not know the name. Um, you just have to do some checking online if you're interested in this. This is a great uh, stamp for background stuff. Yeah, it's getting a little bit heavy, but I'm going to come back over and gesso it so I'm not too, too worried about it. other one I've got is just, <coughs> I don't know what you, this kind of a pattern. I just kind of liked it because it um, seemed to just add something a little bit different. And it's pretty bold, so that's kind of a nice contrast. Okay, so just so you can see what's happening so far. 
that's what it's going to start looking like. And then now I want to put a little bit of gesso. Actually, no. Sorry, guys. The gesso will do last. Let me just go ahead now and put some. Just take some old um, book page. I've chosen to use um, vintage because I like this was a math book and I really like the lines and the numbers in it. So just going to start putting these down. So I hope everybody's okay and staying busy. Is, uh, there's always something to do, it feels like, around the house. I've, um, I've been going through doing a lot of sorting out of personal stuff, crafting stuff. Um, and then, of course, as you probably know I've been working we've been working a lot in the garden so that's that's there's always something to do and my problem is not having enough time that's always been my problem because I have too many interests okay so um, I haven't really thought these out I'm just putting them down there some of these might end up being covered up I don't know I haven't I haven't planned it so um don't. I mean, I've done these others before, but I don't really tend to follow a formula. I just, um, just getting them down, get some stuff stuck down there. And that's old piano roll paper. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that just because it's got a really nice texture to it. jacket off real quick guys it's getting warm again okay so let's see that's the one that's going to we can have the journal card inside so there's a couple of things we're going to need to do different on that this is just some paper I've got I'm going to put a little bit of this on They are definitely going to go inside that one. And then this one, I actually think I'll have them out here. So I'm going to put a little bit more book page there. Guys, I'm going to sit this one over to the side for a moment. I may still end up having to come back and do some backtracking on things. But to start, 
I'm going to cut this image out here. where I'm going to want that to be glued. I'm just going to get, you know what, actually I'm, I'm going to snip this off because I'm hoping maybe I can use that number somewhere on the front. Okay. I just want to make sure I get this in the right place so that when that is stitched down, that's going to be where I want it to be. I think that looks pretty good there. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, isn't that coming out nice? Let's see. Sorry about the lighting in here, guys. It's very, very gray day today. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then I'm definitely going to use that number somewhere. Maybe up there. Okay, let me think. If there's any, I'm happy with that. Okay, the next thing. This is, uh, I believe they called this a hmm, cake. Oh, I had it in my mind before I started this because I know you guys are going to ask about this. Um, they use it, cake, you know, to wrap around cakes. Oh gosh. Just, you're going to just have to do a, a search. That's all I can say. I bought mine off of eBay in the UK. Um, so it can't be that difficult to find. Mm, is it cake liner? Cake. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe it'll come to me before the tutorial's over. But um, all it is is a thin acetate. But it, I like it because it's thinner. Some of that stuff you buy is so thick and bulky. Um, and again, if you don't have that, you can use tracing paper. looks nice as well. It's just that it's going to be a little bit um, cloudier. But it, it still will work. I've done it in the past, and it, it gives it a different look, which is kind of cool. And particularly if you don't like the... Uh, a lot of people don't like the the glare off of the plastic with the vintage so that's another really good alternative is um, to use tracing paper all right so that's all you do is just glue that down inside <laughs> and this one is really coming together okay I'm gonna go ahead and ink that Dun, dun. Let's see what else. And this is just the vintage photo. I've got the walnuts somewhere, but so you can distress it as much as you like. I, I don't tend to do too much, as you guys know. Although I think I think I'm getting grungier and grungier as it goes along. <laughs> I actually think I'm happy now to run to the machine and stitch this, and it's a good time to break away because my time is, um, the, this is turning out to be a longer video than I expected. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is just go to the machine and stitch around and then I'll come back and finish embellishing that and then we'll work on the next one. So I will. Okay guys, I've taken that over to the machine. I Zoom out a bit so you can see what it looks like up close at this point. And then on the back, got plenty of room for journaling. Okay, so let's just get on with this. So I've saved <clears throat> the numbers that were on that ticket, and I like the idea of that being up there. Um, 
and then this is one of the stamps. I've cut that out and I'm going to just stick that in behind that just to pull a little bit of the green. And then I've inked around the edges of that a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I like the idea and the numbers on there because it's kind of like it's the house number. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, guys. I'm getting ahead again. Let's put some gesso on here. So you probably want to do that before you start doing the last um, embellishing. Sorry about this. I, I was afraid. There's so many steps in this. I was afraid I would end up doing this. I should write it down, really, shouldn't I? It just kind of, you don't have to do this. It just makes it look a little bit more worn. Don't go too too heavy on the gesso. I, when I first started working with it, it's very easy to just get too much of it on there. Okay, as you can see, very little. <clears throat> you need very little of that. Okay, where are we now? All right, so I've played around. This is the paper doll I'm going to use, and I'm going to have them kind of sitting there, but I like the idea of this little tag underneath it, just to give it a little bit more color down in that color, uh, corner. Okay, and the other thing, I'm going to take the vintage photo and go over those a little bit because they're a little bit um, white, uh, you know, white looking. So that just kind of ages them slightly more. And then it's just so that it looks like <coughs> they're sitting on that ticket. What else? Let me see what I <clears throat> feel like there may be a little bit of a little button or something over here. Oh gosh, I would be so glad, guys, when the um. I'm thinking, oh, I kind of like that, since it's got some green. I can't wait to get back to the car boots and flea markets. I really wish this lockdown would end. I want to get back out um, scouring junk. I'm just going to use one. I don't want to take away from the paper doll, and I feel like it's going to if I'm not careful. Um, okay. I've got my, sorry guys, I've got my needle and thread scattered here. <clears throat> there we go. I've been doing some uh, sl slow stitching. So I've got, um, my stuff's kind of scattered at the moment because I'm doing some at night when I go down. At night I've uh, been taking 
some stuff I'm practicing down there while the TV's on, so everything. Honestly, my studio is a wreck, and I cleaned it yesterday, but um, I've been pulling out books and magazines and going through things, just trying to get some new ideas and inspiration, and I've just kind of been leaving things out. <clears throat> I don't tend to do that. I try to do a clean up every day, but yeah, I need to use that button, I think. Um, but yeah, I've just uh, been trying to leave things out so that I can have some visuals, you know, around me more. I don't know, guys. I'm just I'm just gonna pull some things and see if any of this works. Actually, I like that. Yeah. It's a bit plain, but I think I don't want anything that takes away from the, the little people. So I'm going to stick with that, I think. So, yes, I've just been, uh, let me see. use it. Uh, I've just been trying to do some different things. I really should be getting on with those journals, but uh, I guess that's one thing I will say is that is this coronavirus, I've really, really slowed down, um, which in some respects has been a good thing. But I think it's a bit too much. I've got to find a happy medium. But prior to it, I seriously, I'm not exaggerating, guys. I was spending 12 hour, twelve to 14 hours a day, six and sometimes seven days a week, working. And it. I think I just got burnt out on it. So it's just finding a happy medium because now that I've relaxed a bit, I'm finding it very difficult to get back into, um, but I've got to. I gotta. It's not like it's an option. Um, so it's just finding some kind of work-life balance, and I do struggle with that because I tend to um, obsess when I get onto a project or an idea. And I guess that's probably comes with anybody who's creative. You just kind of obsess over things a bit. Oh, I love how that's coming out. That's really... <laughs> so I'll show you that one up close. I really like that. Oh, the little button. I think it needed that. And you've still got room on the back to journal. I didn't want to put anything too bulky because if you're writing, I didn't want it to interfere. All right, so I'm going to set that to the side. Let's crack on with this one because this is taking a long time to do. All right, so this is our journal card. And the main thing I've got to make sure is that it's going to slide easy in and out. So I'm going to have to be super conscious about the stitching on this one. All right, so first thing I want to do is get these some background on this. So I'm going to just take a bit more of my paper because I've already stamped lightly on the back of that. So I'm just going to collage some of the paper on there and then ink that.
I want some of the stamping to show. In fact, I might come back over that with some stamp. So this is going to be a journal card that's going to slide out of this one. This We're going to tweak this one slightly different, so I'll probably stitch this as well. So yeah, you're just going to want to make sure you decorate it, you know, because it's going to come out of that pocket. And I'll probably put a lace tab on that. That'll look cute, I think. Alrighty. them up a little bit. All right, now let's choose something to go on the back here. Oh, I've already spotted it. I'm going to use that to go behind those people on the journal card. I think that's going to be really cute. I'm going to go ahead and place that. I'm happy with where that's going. Alright, so now take the back. Oh, we're going to have to kind of line this up. And it might fall slightly different when you get that journal card in. And we may have to trim the journal card down. I don't know. Sometimes I end up having to do that. But I want to make sure I get them placed. So she needs to go right about there. Her shoulder touching that J. So let me just get these guys on here. And then I'm going to do some sewing. And we can finish this up. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to say that's done for the time being. We'll come back and add anything else at the end that we need. Get on with this. So this is going to be the front. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so I'm going to put just a little bit more uh, book page. Okay guys, let me just see. I feel like <clears throat> I'm going to want something, a word, I think, over there.
going to add a few things here and there. Let's see. I'm going to put some lace and I think a button down here and then another, another tag, but I just can't decide... I think I'm going to use, what do I want to do, I want to add some color, yeah, I think so, hmm, sorry, I'm just trying to, uh, oh, I'll tell you what I think I'll do. All right. All right, guys. I kind of got the pieces I'm thinking I'm going to play with. So what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and go to the machine. I'm going to stitch around this. And then this one I'm going to stitch not to the back. I'm going to stitch all the way around this. Then I'm going to put it on here and just run a stitch up, down here, down, and here. Keep whichever side you want to keep open. Don't, but, but do your faux stitch first. So I'll do that. I'll be back and then we'll finish this up. Okay, guys, when I got to the machine, I realized I forgot to tell you make sure you put the acetate uh, window in before you sew it. So now you can see how that's come together. Um, okay, the other thing, uh, I've just decided to add, I've just taken a little, um, it's a wildflower stamp from Stampin' Up, and I've just added a little stamp there. Uh, I'm going to do the same over here. Actually, that's not going to show up because I've got something planned there, but let me just stick something over here. It's just another little bit of detail. And then I've taken this white marker and just add some little dots. It's, again, just some more... interest to the card against that um, craft card you can see. And then up here I just added a few random. Okay. Alright, next thing let's just go ahead and get this inked. This has ended up a really long tutorial. <laughs> Sorry, but sometimes uh, it's not easy to, to do everything in a quick one but there again when you start making these it's going to go so much quicker than what it has for me because um, I'm just going to ink around this frame I think that to make that stand out a little bit more okay so here is what the card looks like now stitched it I added just a little tab there, so you got journaling space here. If this is floating within the pocket, you can have journaling here, or you could glue this down and have a double pocket. Um, but I kind of like the idea of it floating. That way you can write here and write on that as well. Now the only thing I have found is when I put this in, because that's not stitched all the way, it, it's kind of catching, but I'm not bothered about it. I just want to get this finished off, and I've already kind of played around with what I think looks nice. I just grabbed a little piece of lace here, and I'm just going to kind of pull it. Fabri-Tac. Just put a little doll up here. Just to hold that. And then I've got 
one of the postage stamps. And then just to add that little bit of red, I'm going to put that across in there. And then I've got the little parcel post. I'm going to have at the top of it. I guess they're on the way to the post office. That's my thinking on that, this one here since it's all kind of postage related. Okay, let me see, have I got everything done? Let's clear up so you guys can actually see without all this clutter. Okay, those are the two we've made today. Zoom in so you can see. I definitely like the little white marker I'm going to actually add because I'd inked that and I want those to stand out just a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. And I think I think that might need I'll leave it. I'll leave it as it is. So there you go, guys. I love this project. It's been so much fun, and I'll be honest, I've never been a fan of these um, paper dolls, <laughs> but it's funny. I went home at Christmas and picked up a bag of those. I came back here because Paul had redone my craft room. I'd started organizing. I ran across another one, so now I've got buku of those paper dolls. So I've been searching around trying to find... Um, ideas and inspiration and I'll be honest the inspiration from this actually came from an old Somerset magazine I had um, this is 2017 I was looking through the other day and I'm desperate to do this project for my desk I want to do this little box to put my scissors in and I don't have any of the um, hardboard, and I can't get any, you know. So I walked in my space this morning, and um, it just struck me, and I was like, I know what I'm doing. I know what um, lends itself to these um, kits I've already made. So that's where the inspiration from that came from, guys. And when I started making... These two, I knew I needed to tweak it so that we could actually have a journal card within that pocket. So that's how that came about. And I love this project. I am going to be making these. I can't wait to actually play with it with some of the more vibrant colors. Um, so stay tuned on that, guys. I'm going to definitely be making more of these um, in the near future. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope... Um, that you guys are getting some time to, well, I know you've got the time to create. It's just whether, you know, you're in a bit of a funk at the moment. Hopefully this will pull in, pull you out of it. Um, okay, guys, that's all I've got to share with you today. Stay tuned. I've got some more Create With Me videos coming. And you guys take care. I'll see you back here soon. Bye.